All right, let me show you where I'm at. Okay, I gotta get my glove back on. Gloves. Hang on, my camera down for a second. So anyway, uh, what I got going on is the caliper wasn't sliding, so I'll have to see if I can get that to slide. If I can get that to slide, Bob's your uncle. Now here's so that pad is almost all there, right? So that pad is I could technically reuse that if I wanted to. I don't want to, but this pad. <laughs> This pad, oh, this one's gonna be magic. As soon as I get it out of there. First off, gotta take up my little slider plate. Here's the top slider plate, or what's left of it. That's why the, the things get jammed up. But you see this bottom slider plate here, right? Comes out like that. And there we have, oh, that's nice shiny. That's nice and shiny. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. You can see how crusty that is? Yeah, that's a worn out, that, that's done. Uh, see this slider plate here? It's all corroded. I'll put, when you get new brakes, you get new ones. It's these here that you got to keep lubed up. If you do not, your brake caliper will not slide. And if it does not slide, well, guess what happens? Now, this I thought was going to actually come off nice and easy. I don't know if that's good news or bad news there, but probably bad news. But, eh, we'll live with it. We'll live with it. Uh, so I'll have to put some penetrating oil. I think I'm just going to keep the rotors on it. I'm going to clean them up the best I can. As bad as they are, they're even, they're bad. They're, they're, they're pretty bad. But this, okay, let's have a look at this. Okay. So if I can clean all this up, if this, I can, if this piston, I can get the slide, because that might be seized too. And that could be part of the problem. It's not moving freely, but it doesn't appear to be leaking around the gasket or that that boot or whatever. Got to watch the hose on this because I'm still attached. Uh, but I might be able to get that. Again, some things just look worse than what they are. You know what I mean? So I might be able to, if I can get that to compress, don't know what the heck I'm going to use to compress it. Uh, and I looked at my bolts. These could be replaced for sure. They're not as bad as I thought they were going to be, but keeping the lube on these things is loud, is allows what allows it to, these to slide back and forth so i might be able to cheat for at least the winter anyway yeah oh yeah that's in park that's why <laughs> why is that not spinning it's in park <laughs> doesn't really matter because it's one wheel up but uh so that's good so i'm going to clean all this up anyway and uh, i couldn't get those bolts the, the bolts on the inner side they they're either a 20 or a 21 I didn't have a wrench to get there, and the leaf spring was in the way with my 21 mil socket, so I wasn't able to get them off. That's why I left this bracket on there, but I don't really need to take that off because I'm not taking that off. Uh, and I could probably get this off without taking that off, but however, that's a real pain in the ass. But I'm going to clean this up with the wire brush. Clean the, that up with the wire brush. I'm going to see if I can get this off because I want to see what conditions the brake shoes are in because this is also a drum. Uh, so if the brake shoes are good, which I, my hunch is that, because the emergency brake, you don't use it that long, but mind you, it could be the original pair of brake shoes in there since 2004, but there's my cable for my emergency brake. I want it all functioning anyway, but I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do, but uh, that's where I'm at, so. But look at how nice and shiny that is. That's pretty. That's really pretty. But you see, what that, the same thing happened to my Ford. Like, it, once your caliper jams up, this caliper is the only one, only thing stopping your vehicle. See, it's like, quarter pad there you know what i mean um not going to reuse it i'll put on new ones you know i know they say not to do it but uh you know it's a 40 dollar fix that'll get me till spring new pads are definitely not going to be as bad as these old pads but what they're talking about why you shouldn't use uh, pad slap it or put used pads on old ro or new pads on old rotors you see the grooves well, these grooves, they form, and when you get a new pad, it's all smooth, and it creates a, you know, a roughness. And I guess the vibration can jam up your pad. But you can see what happened to the, that top. That one pretty much disintegrated. So once this jams up, your, cal your pads can't slide, which then seizes your piston, which then seizes your studs, which then wrecks your rotor, which then, you know... Maintenance goes a long way, guys. Maintenance goes... Like, even as bad as that is, I can get that working again. You know, like, it's not perfect. 
obviously, and I know most mechanics will criticize that, but I can make this stop. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? I can make it stop. So it's just, I got to really, really clean it. Got to get some brake clean. See if we can take this rotor off, see what I can do. This part don't matter, that part don't matter. It's here and here. <laughs> That's what parts that matter on it. So I'll see what I can get done. There we go. At least one side's almost done anyway. 